Cats? 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 Copycats? Be gone. Give it a thumbs up, broski. Thumbs up. Click that like button right now. All right. We have some dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video, but we're going to talk about cats. That's why you clicked on this video. What? I thought the title said how to groom your pet cat. No? Psych. We talking about copycats. Sony. As if copying the Wii Mote wasn't enough. Copying the 3DS wasn't enough. What else Sony copied? The, the triangle buttons. The four buttons. The thumbsticks. Copying our controllers. Now it looks like Sony might be going back to cartridges. That's right. There has been a new Sony patent filed that utilizes there's a, a playstation system that will utilize cartridges a couple things come to mind i remember back in the day when nintendo chose to stick with cartridges on the, on the nintendo 64 and sony chose um cds for the playstation now there was a reasoning behind that the reasoning was at the time CDs could hold more memory than cartridges but that's not the case anymore cartridges have caught up and in many instances have surpassed the storage capacity for DVDs etc and so we could be getting cartridges for one or two things some are speculating cartridges could be this um sony could be going the cartridge right for the playstation 5 this is my thinking with cartridges it's weaning us off of um physical um media we're slowly going towards digital my j's dropped i'm gonna fix them and we're gonna keep going we're slowly going towards an all digital future nintendo has cartridges but they emphasize digital. You get more rewards by buying your games digital than buying the cartridges. So one, PlayStation 5 could be going the cartridge route. I think there's faster read speeds and writing speeds from to, from cartridges over DVDs. We could, I think that was, that was actually confirmed like through the whole Nintendo 64 era. But another reason why a possibility of this cartridge front by Sony it could be for a new portable device we could be getting a Nintendo switch direct competitor the next PlayStation Vita it could be happening bro I always go back to the switch launch event at the switch launch event Shui Yoshida, Sony's global president, he was <laughs> taking pictures. Not even being discreet about it. He didn't put on a mustache, a hat. No, he was just there taking pictures, taking note. We could be getting a Sony handheld system sooner rather than later. PlayStation Vita, it was a dope piece of hardware. I had two Vitas. I had the OG and I bought the one with the revised screen. But the software was lacking, bro. And my thing is, if Sony comes out with another handheld, I think the software is going to be lacking again. Well, you'll have a lot of indie games. Times have changed. But it won't have Mario. It won't have Zelda. It won't have Metroid. It won't have Pokemon. It won't have Animal Crossing. 
It won't have Super Smash Brothers. It won't have Luigi's Mansion 3. It won't have Mario Kart. <laughs> it, it won't have the Nintendo first party IPs, bro. Software drive systems. And that's where, no matter what Sony does to try to imitate Nintendo, they will never be Nintendo. Because Nintendo has the first party IPs. Now, this also has me to remember of that patent a couple months ago of um, Sony having a touch, some kind of touch screen on the on the PlayStation 5 controller. It was a couple months ago. Maybe this is somehow linked to it, but um, we're getting pieces and pieces of what the PlayStation 5 could be or where Sony is going, either with the PlayStation 5 having cartridges or we could be getting another PlayStation Vita, bro. How many copycats are we going to have in one video? Next news item. Bro, I think this is pretty cool. Now, the internet can be used for a lot of foolery. But in this instance, the internet is being used for something good. There is a hashtag going around on Twitter right now. Hashtag thank you Game Freak. Game Freak, um, the developers for Pokemon, it's been rumored that the morale has been low in the company because of all of the negative um, um, I want to say publicity, but <coughs> the fans, I think some of the Pokemon fans are just a bunch of crybabies, but the negative, um, a lot of the negative feedback um, that pe they've been getting from the game, oh, we want all the Pokemons, oh, why can't I have my favorite Pokemon in the game, bro, just get good with the Pokemon they have in the game, and so, to counter all of the negativity, fans have started this hashtag, Thank You Game Freak, and they're writing something positive um, about the game. If you follow me on Twitter, I, I went on this hashtag train, and this is what I wrote. This is Obi-Wan. I'm quoting myself. <laughs> I've always said this from the moment I saw the first Pokemon Sword and Shield trailer. The game has the best looking new Pokemon designs ever. The overall environment looks fantastic too. Can't wait till next week to play. Hashtag thank you game freak. I told y'all dudes. Ever since I seen the first trailer, the game looked good. I, didn't, I don't get all the complaining. These are the best looking Pokemon. Pokemon designs, the new Pokemon. There was that <coughs> that controversy with the whole recycle animations, but that's so minor. They've done a good job with the game, I believe. And so, um, if you're a fan of the game, fan of the series, use that hashtag. Thank you, Game Freak. Show the devs some love, bro. Um, a lot of dudes don't realize the amount of time and dedication they put into making these games. And so, show them some love, bro. It's easy to hate. Don't hate, participate, and congratulate. All right, next news item. Nintendo has revealed the best-selling, um, the most downloaded games for October, and the winner is Fortnite. Probably because of Fortnite Chapter 2. The top three, I'm going to just do the top three. Fortnite, Untitled Goose Game, and Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi's Mansion 3, game of the year. Next news item, Eternal Darkness. There has been an all-new patent for Eternal Darkness, or trademark, not patent. Nintendo has filed an Eternal Darkness trademark. We might be getting a reboot to the franchise. They filed this trademark before. We'll have to say, I believe this is Nintendo's first party horror series so <clears throat> never really been a fan of the series but it would be cool and the last news item remember the leak and the rumors of doom guy possibly coming to switch i mean to super smash brothers as the fifth um fighter in the fifth fighter pack well it looks like there's starting to be some cloud or doubt around that possibility. This is coming from Sabi, who's been pretty good with um, his leaks. He's saying um, that the source who told me that, well, he, he's pretty much saying that that video or the source of um, Gino and Doomguy coming as a possibility to Super Smash Brothers, that that was fake, not real. So... We're just going to have to wait and see, bro. 
sometimes fake stuff is mixed with um real stuff because there's been times where people have said oh it's fake it's not gonna happen it's fake and it actually happens so um nintendo i think our next nintendo direct in february we're gonna get the announcement of the next fighter in super smash brothers terry terry has surprised me bro he's better than i thought all right dudes what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out boy i use the same bro for my last video i'll change it next time I'm destroying everybody in Pokemon. Pokemon.